In the past 30 days, I have been privately approached by four high-level media types with regard to the fact that President Obama was planning on using a false flag event to take down all or part of the power grid and then enact martial law under the auspices of DHS with the help of their Hessian troops, primarily Russian. These four media figures are people whose names would be recognizable. To various degrees, they want to break with their media controllers and get this truth out. It is safe to say that all four are on America's side and are opposed to what Obama is trying to do the country on behalf of his puppet masters. The truth is becoming apparent for all who want to see it. Of course, the sheep will still go to great lengths to deny what is truly happening to our country. It is time for straight talk. I have been writing about various aspects of this scenario for 16 months, such as using the Russians being used as martial law enforcement troops. I began focusing on the power grid as a target in August-September of 2013. I first mentioned that Benazi was the first real hint that a military coup would someday topple Obama. It is now time to categorize and review the events connected to the Grid X2 drill and the attempt to initiate a false flag event followed by martial law. The mother of all false flag events for months, I felt like one of the few voices in the wilderness trying to call attention to what was about to happen. I took a fair amount of criticism for reporting on these events despite the fact that events were documented, as well as could be when dealing with clandestine activities. I had Jim Garrow on my show on December 22, 2013 and many of these claims were validated by the words of a 43-year veteran of being a deep cover agent for the CIA. Assassination attempt on Jim Garrow I might not have published this information about the very recent attempt on Dr. Garrow's life except that it has already been widely reported. While on my show, Dr. Garrow acknowledged that Obama did plan to take down the power grid on November 13, 2013 in their Grid X2 drill and initiate a brutal martial law. According to the Congressman Franks and my military sources, a power grid takedown would result in a 90% fatality rate following two years. Interesting since the quoted globalists call for a 90% reduction in population. The Military Saves America I first wrote an article on the intention of this administration to use the Grid X2 drill on September 7, 2013. Dr. Guerra was a three-hour guest on my show on December 22, 2013, as he validated these claims. I came to understand that their Grid X2 drill false flag event was stopped as soon as it was announced that the Obama administration had brought the Russians and the Chinese into the drill. This is remarkable, since both nations threaten to nuke us over Syria and Iran. They are clearly our enemies, but are being treated as allies. However, their presence in the drill signaled that the false flag component of Grid X2 was no longer in play. Then it was quickly announced that the Russians and Chinese would be first-time participants in the upcoming RIMPAC War Games. The RIMPAC War Games are the largest war games in the world and have historically been war games that are designed to practice fighting against Chinese and Russian military tactics. Now our enemies are in the RIMPAC drill, which makes no sense. This is all documented in the bibliography listed at the bottom of the article. I suspected that the RIMPAC forces were being morphed into an international peacekeeping force. I just had this confirmed in the past few days by one of my insider sources. Here is where it gets very interesting. The Unsmall Arms Treaty ban calls for countries to use foreign troops to confiscate guns because they are more likely to fire on their own citizens. I was told that this is what RIMPAC is morphing into. We are going to see the use of foreign troops to seize American guns. Dr. Garrow and I were brought together by a mutual friend, because what I was writing was matching what our mutual friend knew that it matched specifically what Jim Garrow believed. The military is actively opposed to the planned Grid X2 drill on November 13, 2013. The bifurcation between the military and the administration Obama has fired over 200-plus command-level officers. 
The conflict between Obama and the military is becoming a case of the immovable object meeting the irresistible force. Obama wants martial law to usher in, usher in his communist, NWO agenda. The military will not support the mass harming of American citizens. The military has already blocked a nuclear detonation in Charleston, SC, late last summer. Some of the deposed military officers are planning a coup and a long-term guerrilla civil war against the Obama administration, the DHS and their martial law enforcing troops of the Russians and the Chinese. A false flag event will precipitate this. Jim Garrow and my two military sources are explicit in this point. It is notable to point out that Senator Lindsey Graham, on the same day that Alex Jones reported missing nuclear missiles, said that if we did not not hurry up and attack Syria, that Charleston Harbor would be nuked. Graham knew something and it freaked him out. He was almost incoherent at this news conference. By the way, the military intercepted the nuke intended for Charleston, and detonated it 500 miles east of Charleston, in the Atlantic and the Russians confirmed the explosion. Obama has been thwarted. However, he is undeterred. There will be more false flag attack attempts with the purpose of subjugating this country under martial law. As I said, Jim Garrell confirmed every bit of this on my interview with him. The first half hour of the interview, Jim and I danced around the topics. The last two and a half hours were explosive. Click on the above link to hear Dr. Garrow. I have been writing about the Russians for a long time. They are here in this country and they will be used as martial law troops, because Obama cannot count on the military. Because I was onto the truth that the Russians are going to be used to enforce martial law, I was brought on to the Voice of Russia show and interviewed about the coming martial law only, to have the Russians discredit me on the website, as being extremist for believing that martial law was coming. This was their intention all along. My message was dangerous to the completion of their mission, because they risked widespread exposure. The Russians and their propagandists were covering their backsides, because they know that the use of Russian troops to enforce martial law is true, and they were trying to discredit me in an attempt to cover the truth. The interview played in Washington DC and New York and then in 38 countries. Here is the link to the interview I did with the Russians and the subsequent attack upon me following the interview. I have written extensively on martial law and the use of Russian troops on my website. I have a video of Russian troops training inside of DHS vehicles courtesy of Sherry Wilcox and her blog The Government Plans, to use stadiums and shopping malls, as FEMA camps and I have written about this extensively. FEMA and DHS even practiced for this at Giant Stadium and in Denver, where they took elementary kids, without parent permission to sports stadiums and then hired mock parents, to beg for the release of the kids. This was clearly a desensitization exercise for the guards to not succumb to parental demands. It is one of three ways to draw parents into FEMA camps. Conclusion I have provided you with the means to start doing your own research. Do your own research by first visiting the links in this article, including the bibliography listed below. Perhaps you will form different conclusions from myself, and that is okay. At least then, you cannot be considered to be a sheep. If you concur with these findings, then we need to be shouting from the rooftops in order to call attention to these facts. The media attention that is now being paid to these events is significant. Mainstream media people are ready to break ranks with the purveyors of the corporate controlled message. The military is approaching rebellion and the public is waking up. This adds up to the biggest civil unrest in American history. The more attention we call to this, the more we can push this back due to the exposure. Perhaps, you should act like your life depends on this information getting out, because it does.